Okay, this is a very quick video and it's about uh, something called Livewee, which Eric has put me onto. Eric often comments on uh, this channel um, and I think it's really a uh, good little tool. It's an online tool, so I'll give you the uh, address in the comments. Um, and what I'm going to do is use it with Bootstrap Studio. So what you can do here is when you come to Livewee, you'll see something... Um, uh, a bit like this so you've got your HTML code on the left top and you've got your CSS underneath you've got your JavaScript on the right hand side top and your um, browser thing underneath um, so I mean you can do anything with these things but what's really impressive it's also got a, a graphics editor um, as well which is uh, it's not loading much but anyway this thing here CSS Explorer is something that I really think is a fantastic tool if you don't really want to learn um, all CSS and especially CSS 3 on here um, you know well this and even if you do know what uh, you know that's um, it can really save a lot of time this thing and I've been messing around with this for a few days now and it's got things like text shadow um, it's got transforms, columns, border and outlying background content and text and things like that. But one of the really good, uh, so I mean you can, it's got uh, the default things here. You can edit using the CSS style and you can play around with these things. And it's a very, very easy tool to use. But one good thing I thought was gradient backgrounds and um, if you know them it's still you know it's still good to you know play mess around with these things um, I always say you should code if you can uh, but if you don't have that inclination you can just copy and paste something from this so for example uh, just pick something at random and as you see that's now into a, a gradient and the other color will be you can change the color you see there um, you know and you can just mess around with it like that and I think it's really really good that um, you can also have positions uh, so you can change where the positions are if you like there's 28 if you put 84 then you get more of a red on this case um, so yeah so that's really good and all you would do if you're happy with something is you just copy copy on there we'll just use this live wave for this example at the moment um, I'll just put body in so if you just put body in um, in between that and there you go so that's what it would look like if you put this into bootstrap studio this is uh, just a new uh, you want put body create and here's your body thing here if you just go control V so yeah you can do uh, these type of things um, also with um, <coughs> uh, live wave you can do uh, like I said transforms is a, an interesting one as well which if uh, this is how you usually start off with um, CSS animations and here we have like a rotate so you make some fancy stuff like that or you can uh, skew things and do this type of thing. You can do a sort of 3D-esque thing. Um, I don't think it supports animations. Um, I don't know if that's going to come into this tool at some point, but that would be a really cool tool as well. Um, but yes, so all you're really doing is copy and pasting into uh, things like Bootstrap Studio for extra effects. So I hope you've... Uh, enjoyed this video and how easy it is to uh, put uh, things like from live wave into bootstrap studio so thanks for watching